we're going to get into chapter four. And if I need to adjust audio at any point, please, please let me know. And Hegel, thank you for the biddies, dude. You are far too kind. Oh, in this Junin area theme, I just love a lot. Um, one thing to note so far, and this is just from somebody who's played the original, right? Uh, the geography that they're giving us here is a lot different uh, than the OG. However, if you look at this map, there's a lot of area here that we don't have access to, and we kind of exit in a different spot from the mines than you uh, exit in the original. So I'm sure the uh, overall continent shape is similar. So I'm, I'm really curious how this is going to work itself out. Because here it looks very similar. And uh, this area, we, we kind of, you go through in the original, but we're not quite getting right now, is kind of some more of this area. So I'm sure they'll give it to us in a bit. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to enjoy. <laughs> oh, man. This is great so far, though. Did I equip Aerith with uh, proper materia here? Is the question. Okay, I did. Um, so have we learned that ability yet? We have not, so we're going to wait to go back to the guard stick until we've learned that. What ability does she have? Altruistic recovery, HP recovery by 10%. That is nice. Debuff extension, enduring ward, or fire damage up. I just want to keep it on altruistic recovery. Cloud's gonna be Cloud's gonna be walking around with the ladies today. I guess I could call the chocobo, but I don't know why just running on foot feels right here. Oh, I haven't got the one for this region yet. That's right. Each region of the world is home to its own breed of chocobo with its own unique ability. However, you will need to wrangle the area's bird first before you can call it to your side. To find where the local chocobos roost, locate and follow their tracks. Note that some region's chocobos may require you to complete certain odd jobs or progress in the story before you can ride them. Oh, that's cool. I forgot about that. So no wonder it wants us to walk. No wonder it feels so right. We don't have access yet. Oh, man. Oh! Baby Chocobo! Look at this little guy. He's so cute. <laughs> and he's a different color. He's not just the, uh, the typical yellow. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love his little happy dance. <laughs> and Struffy, if you're lurking too, I appreciate the world out of it. Um, I know you're just near the end of chapter two, so I don't want you to be spoiled either. Yeah, don't want you to be spoiled. Uh, just thanking you for the lurk, dude. Oh, well, look at that! Another Chocobo Ranch. I wonder ah. where the owner's hiding. So no wonder it said something about the progression. All right. 
Hey, Chad Link, what's you up, dude? Chocobo Ranch. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here are raised on a diet of feed, seaweed, and fishbone meal. Unsurprising, given the local industry. What do you got for materia? Uh, magic efficiency materia reduces the MP cost of spells with the linked materia in battle. Okay. Oh, so we need region data points for this. Lightning and wind materia. I like that. Item economizer material. Allows you to use items without having to consume ATB after performing a number of actions. This effect will automatically trigger during battle. I like that. Increase ATB when staggering an enemy. Also very nice. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world <laughs> intel. Okay, Choco Boutique. Okay, that makes sense that I need a, a region Chocobo to do that. Let's take more of their natural resources before we talk to them. Who are you? Wait, you didn't come from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill, he helped us cross the swamp and everything. You what? <laughs> I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco back. I'm Gabe, by the way, owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but <laughs> nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't got to fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Well, chocobo. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. It serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? I'm just gonna say yes. I'm not gonna ask why she's so adamant. Sweet. I wasn't really asking, but <laughs> I gotta warn you. The parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here, they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Bell. Last I saw, she was over yonder. And she ain't a big fan of people. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Gabe has some uh, pretty sick ink, man. The dude is in great shape for his age. Curious to see how this all turns out. You mind your manners around that fellow on the mountain, or he's liable to kick you off it. <laughs> Curious to see how this all turns out. Okay. We need to go down here. Howdy! Care to give our wares a once over? Sure. Oh man, that is sick. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to buy that. Yeah, we need to get the other two parts, but uh, we'll earn those. Give that bird a pat on the head for me, will ya? Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't. Won't. 
hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Huh? That jerk. <laughs> doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. There you go, Aerith. <laughs> All right. So I saw a chocobo up there. Cool. I like this. Just inch along here. Nothing to see, Mr. Chocobo. Nothing to see here. Okay, so we can flip the switch from throwing a rock. Aim with L1. Oh, nice. It makes it easy for us to hit it, too. Oh, this is fun. Oh, free up cloud. Those birds spotting you. Okay. So we have a switch over here, but I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Oh, of course it's going to go this way. Careful, careful. Easy now. Easy now. Okay, so after we get past this one, somehow yep swap sides come on there we go nice nice bit of Final Fantasy stealth action here. Metal Gear Chocobo. they've given this uh it has a really nice contrast with the uh the dark feathers the chocobos of this region have legs and talons strong enough to scale certain cliff faces 
You spot a surface marked with garish graffiti. Approach the uh, the chocobo up symbol or arrow uh, while on chocobo or chocoback to scale it. You can also climb down these surfaces. Yes. And of course, the always <laughs> amazing uh, red 13 on chocoback. And I love that he's climbing up the box there. Oh, this is fun. Go a bit. Oh, I wish Barrett was a bit more in frame here. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to hide the menu. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing chocobo strutting. <laughs> Oh man, this is cool. Let's go tell uh, our friend about it. Ah, oh, but here's an owl. No, those are enemies. Let's just skip those for now. Mind your manners around that fellow on the mountain. Or he's liable to kick you off it. Okay. So he doesn't care. He doesn't care that we found Bell. So our cliffside is up there. And might as well get this tower while we're at it. Uh, let's assess. Allow me. Okay, wind. Avian creatures that nest in mountainous regions, their stiff feathers help them cut through the air to quickly descend upon their prey. Uh, okay. I got your note. Uh, Capper wire. The panicle creatures that live near coasts, their roots have developed in a way that allows them to scurry about unfettered. They have no vision or hearing, sensing enemies through vibrations, and they're weak to cold, okay? So, Tifa. Lizard on this guy. And then Cloud, we have Wind Current. Oh yeah, tower. That was our whole point of getting into a fight with wildlife. likely have a new summon we can pick up around here. I've confirmed protorel energy signals in your vicinity. Would you mind investigating? Oh wait. Maybe it was proto relic instead. No wait, never mind.
Oh, I love how the chocobo is watching him climb up. That's cool. There's just so many little details that just make this game feel so vibrant. And I'm always over the moon with it. In red, climbing the ladder. That's fun. Okay. So we need to get further over that way. Oh, I love how the owls of each region look different, too. I love that. Okay, so here's the question. If I go photo mode. Oh, yes. Absolutely yes. It does allow us to get... <laughs> Wait, I need to hide the menu. I keep forgetting to do that. There we go. Maybe more of our friends are climbing at this point. Ooh, I like how it's got the owl in there. Yeah, photo mode in this game is insanely fun. <laughs> yeah, red riding the chocobo is top tier. I'm so happy they put that detail in. Because they could have easily not done that. Alright, Owl, which way are you heading? Here? Okay, let's go up this side first. Here's our spring back in here. Nice. I love how each region has its very distinctive wildlife and the spring looks different and everything. They've really put a lot of care into this. Yep, I'm in love. I've, I've been saying that the whole time I've been playing, but, you know. As if you didn't need to hear me keep saying it, but I will. And I might be a very broken record by the time... <laughs> by the time I'm done playing this game. No, 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 no. Off the chocobo. I mean, that's true, Strefty. You are correct. It's just so good. And it's surreal. Um, every time I play this game and pick it up, I just can't believe it exists, which is just one of the coolest things see like what I believe the polygons looked like in my head as a as a youngster you know to see it uh, realized in this level of detail is just beyond words I'm truly drowning in nostalgia and yet it's still new too which is uh, so very cool Oh, no, no, no. Don't walk up the cliff, Cloud. <laughs> I want to get a group shot. Hey, Barrett in red, can you come over here? Oh, 
that's cool. Need red in the picture, though. Red, come on now. I forgot to hide the menu again. That's okay. trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Say wake him gently. Rise and shine. Get up, sleepyhead. Come on, please. <sighs> The voice of an angel. <laughs> I'm gonna dream sweet dreams tonight. Mm. You wanna get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up. Wainwright's map and your chocobo sense of smell to locate the materials buried throughout the region. Okay. So I, I'm curious if this is uh, this game's reference to the guy that's sleeping uh, in this region in the original. I'm curious if that's him. Because I don't think he had a name in the original and he would tell you how many encounters you had. Uh, and then if you had a certain number of encounters, he would give you um, something. Revival materia soon. I'm sick of finishing boss battles with the dead cloud. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I hear you there, Strepty. Um... Or, yeah, there's the guy in the pipe in, in Midgar, too. The This guy are sick. That guy. But there's a guy, like, in the mountain that he's just sleeping and he tells you how many encounters you've had and how many you've fleed from, I think. And you have to have a certain number to get stuff. K-squared, how in the world are you? Uh, all right. So Wainwright. Okay. Oh, wow, they glide down pretty quickly. Off the bird, please. Junon is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Though a freak is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those it touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Uh, I sure hope so. Sure hope so. Oh, we got some uh, variation here. Okay. Phoenix looks awesome. I love the Talon design there, too. Love the Talon design. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Good work, Chadley. Let's 
See, I hate heights, so the thought of like sliding down a rock face vertically like this um, is very, very frightening to me. I would not handle that well. They're nothing. Allow me. What is this? Ignalisk? Poikilotherms that live near coast. They are extremely timid in nature and will heat up their throats and dorsal fins to ward off any perceived threat. And poison materia improved. Very nice. Okay, Bella, I'm sorry I left you behind here. Um, oh boy. Which way to go? So I think it was past the tower. track here. Driftwood. Okay. That's the one near the Chocobo track, so we need to go further up and to the right. Doubt this is it because it's not red. But it's worth a check. Turn around. Turn around. And K squared, if you're still hanging about, I think you mentioned once upon a time that six is your favorite Final Fantasy. Um, I do want to get to that this year, but uh, with this game being as long as it is, that might be uh, <laughs> that might be a tall order. I'm hoping to get to it this year. But I can almost guarantee there's no way I'm going to get to 10 this year. Oh, smell around. Uh, this calendar year, I might not get to 10. I did have high hopes of at least starting it this year, but uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, some more dried driftwood. Yeah, Final Fantasy 10. Yeah. Um... So 
maybe further this way. Maybe this way. Make way, coming through. Get him. See, these guys were weak to ice. Here it comes. But I just wanted to get that weapon ability, so, uh... <laughs> then I can go learn or get the other weapon now. Very nice. Okay, Cloud, Materia, and Equipment. And you've learned Focus Thrust, so we're going to go back to here. It's AP up, we're going to have to move. So let's go Fire and Ice. Healing automatically switched, that's pretty nice. So I'm curious, if I do AP up and then try to put it here. Oh, that is handy. That makes switching materia a lot easier. That is nice. Aerith. Let's make you the party leader so I can get your weapon ability learned. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Vegas, Shin must always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' M.O. Let's see. I have a feeling like I've got those two. But maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, hey. All right, so it is the top one that I haven't got yet. back in here. Yep. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to battle something. Let's do that. And these were weak to... Uh, You'll see. Wind. Well, we need to use this to. Uh... I think we're there. Very nice. All right, cloud. Let's see. Aerith has more MP. Mom, good to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing? How was your afternoon? And hello to anybody else who might be there with you as well. All right, let's go dig up what's over here. Maybe more driftwood. Yep. All right, we've got everything on the list. I 
think we can fast travel back there. Nice. Let's do that. Well, it's time to wake his up. <laughs> Special delivery. Then you read the list. Everything I need's written right there. Oh, -ho. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Um. Yeah, this is fast. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything. Other than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know. One of the few safe spots during the air raids. A lot of folks lost their lives. Good, decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but least I can do is sit here and pay them my respects. Oh. Gabe and I, we go way back. Comrades in arms. You'd never know it now. But he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains, hunting for Shinra units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. <laughs> we fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic, but wasn't enough. Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. Wonder if he's got any sweet tattoos like Gabe does. Junon versus Shinra, before your time. You didn't think all those buildings demolished themselves, did you? Anyway, I fought in the Republic Army. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. Got our asses handed to us. And what you see now is all that remains. Oh, yeah. You did mention that. <laughs> This'll just take a sec. Yeah, we did mention the part that we need. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. And that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely going to need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. Sleep? <laughs> like catching some seeds, for one. So if we're all done here. <laughs> Best be on your way if you don't need to hassle me for anything else. This old dump's no place for the young. Besides, game's waiting. Best be on your way. Okay. We've exhausted the dialogue, so let's go back and give the parts to Gabe. Take a gander to sweet tattoos again. Dude's got some serious ink. Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. To go, Eric. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. <laughs> Appreciate it, kids. I could finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Oh. I ain't scared of those <laughs> bitches. Not one bit. Oh? 
Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle. What it sounds like is the relationship uh, between the two needs to get fixed, along with carriage. So, so there you have it. I just let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? Oh, this is a fun take on the... Uh chocobo theme now that gabe is back in business you can travel between the junin region and the grasslands without entering the mines speak with the stable hands at gabe's or bill's chocobo ranch to use a service oh very cool and we got a uh, new uh, bracer as well Queen's Guard. Silver Bengal once worn by knights sworn to protect their queen regent. So what does that do for Tifa just defense. Magic defense stays the same. Barret both go up. Red 13 loses some magic defense. Both go up a cloud. Two slots, and what does Aerith's currently has two as well? No, let's give Aerith that one. Here we go. I like how near Calm in the Midgar region in the grasslands, the potion uh, vending machines look like the Midgar ones in Remake, and these ones have their own distinct uh, designs. I like that a lot. The Dunk Bangle. Okay. Cloud could benefit from that. The Wise Fox Bracelet. Let's give that to Cloud. Of stuff in this region, but I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe I can. Chocobo over. There we are. O 
Oh, and each region has like a different flavor of the Chocobo theme. Yep, this game knows what it's doing. <laughs> the music is just incredible. Master that ability, so let's uh, hop on over to the guard stick so we can master Arcane Ward. And that has Materia on it. So I have manually set weapon skills. So I'm curious, do the weapon skills get mastered as well? See what they're doing here. I see what they're doing here. Yeah, we should probably cure Aerith just a little bit. Wednesday, dude. Now let's call our chocobo. Oh, materials. Materials. Those materials keep popping out of nowhere. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, nice. I see you made it safe and sound. According to the energy readings, the proto relic should be nearby. Pro 
Proto Relic, you say? Uh, it wasn't incredibly warm here today. I mean, it was nice, but it wasn't, uh, like earlier this week. We had temps in, like, the 60s Fahrenheit earlier this week. So it was a little, uh, slightly rainy today. Felt a little more seasonal for March. But overall, not too bad. How was your weather today, dude? Hopefully you had a little bit uh, warmer than we did. Oh, wow. Pretty mountainous region here. Hey, is this something? Something indeed. That's it. Now then, all that remains is to... That's odd. So many energy spikes. What could be the cause? A spirit's investigation. One moment. <laughs> is this Fort Condor? <laughs> Takes me back. Used to study basic tactics with it. The game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Detecting rapid increase in... Wait, Tifa, don't! <laughs> Reinforcements are here! We're saved! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Why do we look like this? Oh, this is too fun. Watch where you shoot. <laughs> Captain! <sighs> Don't give up the fight. No! <laughs> Glad you're here, troopers. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. I love this so very much. You're our only hope. We are? Now, what did I just say? There's no time. <laughs> the enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come. Oh, this is so goofy. I love it. I absolutely love it. You have been sucked into the board game known as Ford Condor. To claim the proto relic here, you will need to lead the Condor cavalry to victory over the advancing Shinra forces. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this, Wimpy. And yeah, I agree, Hobo. Uh, some good hoodie weather. Yeah. Can't beat it. Your heroes are composed of two types of units. Hero units and ally units. L1, R1 to change your hero units. And L2, R2 to adjust your overall strategy. Which will alter the types of deployable ally units. When you're satisfied with your battle formation, press uh, to begin the skirmish. Uh, Barrett has ranged, though. It's tough. I kind of want to go Barrett Tifa on this one. Oh, we got to use Trebuchet. We got to have the Trebuchet in there. It is the far superior siege weapon. Oh, you you just got there, Strufty? Amazing, right? <laughs> the uh, characterization for Elena is uh, top-notch. Very, very well done. Okay, so I definitely forget how to play this. Oh, good thing. We got a tutorial. To deploy a unit, use the cursor to select a location on the battlefield and press X. Here you can enter tactical mode where you can choose a unit. Uh, take note of your opponent's deployment strategy located on the right side of the screen and plan accordingly. Um, a unit is assigned one of the three roles, Vanguard, Ranged, or Defense. Pay close attention to these roles as they determine what enemies a unit will be effective against. And view a diagram illustrating the relationship between these roles in the top right portion of the screen. Each unit also has ATB cost. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so... We need a ranger. Sir, oh, we don't have. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, cleric, maybe. here. Oh, this is not good. Uh, let's throw a trebuchet. Alright, so ranged is good against the defense, so we need a, an elite ranger probably. Ooh, that's good. Nope. Okay, hero units. I didn't mean to do that. We need a cleric here to heal. And we need some vanguard over here. Defense guy as soon as we get the chance. And is Trebuchet a defense unit? I don't know what it counts as. Doing an enforcer. Jeez. Okay. Placed on the field, they will unleash a devastating attack that damages uh, enemies and buffs allies. Units are immensely powerful and can easily turn the tide of battle, so knowing when to deploy them is key. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm guessing so, Strefty. Uh... Oh, and using, yeah, the assess material is uh, definitely very much needed. Maybe an elite vanguard here. And we need to get Tifa on the battlefield here, because we are running out of time. Go Tifa. Oh man. Here we go. Of course, it's a, you know, initial battle. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> and we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. Captain, fellow troopers, it would seem that our next battle is fast approaching. The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight. Not again. Hold up! The Proto Relic! Hmm? 
What is that I spy? What is that I spy? <laughs> My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. I'm loving this a lot. The hell was that? Uh, call me crazy, but we were inside the game, <laughs> weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Incredible. Simply incredible. I agree, Chaplin. This has ever been observed before. It was as if the very fabric of time and space was twisted. But how? And why? Chadley, focus. <laughs> so what now, little man? Proto relic's gone. One of those punks in there swiped it. You're right. Of course. The proto relic. It's faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. Yep. This is awesome. You know how I was singing the praises of Alan Wake 2 in it probably being my game of the year for 2023? Uh, 2024, uh, you are starting by setting the bar incredibly high. <laughs> Isn't Fort Condor kind of a big deal in Midgard? Yeah, it was really popular in Sector 7. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Think I could still learn the basics? I don't see why not. I bet both you and Red could pick it up quickly. What do you say to that? I accept any and all challengers. Uh -huh. Atta boy, Red. Someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do. Here's our way forward. Yeah, sliding straight down off of a uh, sheer rock face like that scares the crud out of me. You know what? Let's follow the owl. And where are you going, Mr. Owl? I actually didn't see where it went. Chocobos could swim. Yes. Absolutely adore the the theme that they play right before the life spring here too. Oh, this is cool. Yeah.
able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It oh, nice. Found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed. Okay, so it's back over that way. Got it, got it. The rise and fall of the Republic of Junon. The people of Junon were once largely seafarers who only returned to the shore to peddle the bounty of the ocean. Unlike other communities that settled in a single location and gradually expanded their territory, these sailors preferred the freedom of the open sea and over time banded together with like-minded souls to form a unique society. As a republic, they repurposed a flotilla of large vessels to construct a floating city that would serve as the center of their trade network. Having forged a robust infrastructure, they then set their sights on uniting the disparate peoples of the world. Though Junin ushered in an era of economic and cultural prosperity, it was not to last. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put uh, paid to their ambitions and their once proud city now slumbers beneath the waves. That is sad. all reduced to scrap because Shinra. Sounds about right. Sounds a whole lot like Shinra. Can I jump up there? Come on. Yeah, we might have to dismount. Uh, or, you know, I try to, and then it just puts me right back on the bird. What was that craziness? Aha, there's our way forward. Thanks for the confidence boost there, Chadley. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever get used to this. <laughs> it's not so bad. Oh? Oh, he's doing squats. Nice. <laughs> that is a fun touch, man. How could this be? What a fun touch. Troopers, you're just in time. Come, friends. Let us join forces to lay waste to those fiends and reclaim my treasure. What do you mean, your treasure? It came from our world. It belongs to us. <laughs> oh, cease your whinging, man. We've no time for it. Right now, we can but join. <laughs> your mission is to help us break through the enemy lines and retrieve the artifact they stole. With the captain's aggressive approach, I fear we'll surely fail. Please, 
We can't succeed without you. <laughs> <laughs> Captain! We're coming! That's our cue. All right, so I think I can look at their boss. And how... So I don't know what that type is. I guess it's everything. So let's switch to Cloud and Eric on this one. I like the Ballista. Yeah, let's give this a go. unit probably yeah and then also a vanguard Oh boy, we're getting overran. build up for an elite vanguard here. Oh wait, that was the wrong move. Yep. Yeah, we need a ranger. Vanguard will do. And we're almost at the point where we can bring in a hero. So they got, we need a elite ranger here. Oh, Barrett can uh, get in the battle. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Captain, we've won! Indeed. Yet we shan't rest till my prize is mine once more. Now, charge! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> <laughs> you fool! Oh. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Welcome back to Reality Core. 
reality, everyone. <laughs> oh, it seems you've returned empty-handed. Sorry, kid. Come on, Chadley. I wish I could have done more, but there was so much interference. We're dealing with a powerful energy source. Powerful enough to call current models into question. Hey, Chadley. I think I heard the captain call the proto-relic his treasure or something. You know anything about that? Sadly, no. While I could offer theories, I require more data to speak with confidence. I can, however, inform you of the relic's location. Let's head there next. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. So I'm thinking, and that nobody confirmed for me, but we, we saw a bit of him when we got the first proto relic and his likeness in the Fort Condor tells me it's Gilgamesh um, with a fair amount of certainty. However, I still want to see this through to see uh, if, if I'm correct on that assessment. So we're going to head over here and we can catch that tower. This region is huge too. So at first glance of thinking, oh, you know, there's not much space between there and Junin. Uh, there's still a lot to explore here. So definitely not disappointed whatsoever. Oh, and the shipwreck is our way across? Oh, man. Well done. This is cool. I guess I can't go across that way. Yeah, it makes it look like you can go across on that. What about this one? Probably not. Come on now. Can we just jump in the water? There we go. Baby Chocobo, where are you going, little guy? Yeah. One does not simply go to a Chocobo stop and not pet the baby Chocobo. Come here, little dude. Pat the head, pat the head. Oh, that's a good chocobo. <laughs> His happy little dance is everything. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They are so darn cute. Moogle medals. Ooh, that looks like a fun fight. Should we do it? Gotta win it all <laughs> One more shot. Um, let's do Arcane Ward. Try using it. Anytime. Hey. Okay. 
Okay, Cloud, you need to assess. I'm guessing wind. Yep. Migratory avian creatures that settle in the fertile lands when it comes time to breed, they constantly keep an eye out for prey as they fly. Death from above sounds no fun. Oh, it knocked me out of the arcane ward. How dare you. Uh, Eva, we're going to need an assist here. This thing's being a huge bully to Arrow. This one's for you! Enjoy the ride! And all warmed up. And then all I had to do is land one move to, to defeat it. <laughs> Should probably heal up between battles, though. Come on, Bell. Let's go. There is so much to do in this game. It's insane. No wonder it's going to be like a roughly like a hundred hour playthrough. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> Zimzy breaks. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do a manual save here. We're gonna go to, I think, six. And we're 14 hours in, and my goodness. It's our territory now. Rare Zemzalet variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Zemzalets are known as the sages of the skies, not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable methods that make them both okay, let's go. Oh, they're weak to ice. Okay. Hatch near a life spring that's granting it arcane power. And shroud itself in wind to heal its wounds or compress air in powerful bombs. Okay, so I need to uh, inflict damage when it's using that. Uh... Spell to uh, pressure it. with some blizzard. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the other bit. We might have to come back for this one. Chocobo and Moogle? Uh, yeah. Let's use that one. We haven't summoned them yet. <laughs> oh, it's fun. 
It's fun. Synergy, let's do Firework Blade. Uh, amazing. Hello? before we do that one again. That one was tough. That one was tough. Uh, let's look at our transmuter. Anything else we can... Uh, where did we leave here? Okay. So I, it looks like I need to go further up the hillside. I need to go up here and then over. My goodness. This is an expanse. Chocobo. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Square, you had no business doing this. You had no business making these little birds so heckin' adorable. But you did, and I appreciate it. Oh, my lord. Pet the little dude. Oh, my goodness. And a little happy dance afterward. It's everything. It's everything. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Hunting grounds, okay. Tower could be close. Oh, oh, it's right there. Closer than I thought. I saw a Moogle house up there, too. <laughs> We want some arcane board in this business. Over here. Okay. Shit. Alright, I don't know what 
they're weak too, so Cloud. Hang back. Get some ATB, please. They're weak to ice? Okay. Hey! Keep it together. Let me handle this. Aerith, do we have any ice abilities? I don't think we do. Okay, Tifa. We need some healing action here. Uh, this game is amazing so far. Stardust, welcome in, by the way. It is wonderful to see you. Alright. Oh, Tifa does have ice, though. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Climb up this one. Oh, this is interesting. They found a way to uh, make these towers all very unique and yet the same. Can we do the thing? And there's a Moogle house over there. The uh, the big mushroom. We need to go check that out. Slide down here. And then slide down this. Think. Oh, hey. All right, we need to follow the owl before we uh, go to the Moogle house, I guess. It's going to take us to a life spring, which is up here. I'm guessing we just go up this way. Ourselves up the mountain. Let's see here. Okay, this is cool. Oh, the owl went by, I think. Yep, so we need to climb up this way. Oh, I love these life springs so very much. This was a very nice addition. And because of the wisdom of the planet and everything, it's cool that you actually get intel from this. Junon, the Fortress City. New region intel available. The Fortress City. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impenetrable, impregnable rather, impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of their enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon, capable of firing as far as Wutai. 
The stronghold resembles a vast battleship, risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junin is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Butai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. Okay, let's check this out. There's just so much to see. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get hardly any story in because uh, this is just too much fun. Okay, so I'm guessing they're weak to ice. They can actively regulate their body temperature, thus allowing them to remain focused and regulate their brains. There are foods that can finally explain may also be employed in mating rituals. After all, who will make your new study? Who will make your new May we too pursue our objective with a passion that burns as bright as the Ignalus scales. Mind taking over. Take it from here. No, no, it's, it's your turn. Stand against Fight. you. Okay, we need really everybody to be cured. Do we have a mist potion? We do. This one! Cloud. Can we drop an ether for Eric? Please and thank you. Actually, maybe for yourself. Here, Tifa. Stay strong, okay? Tagging out. Let me get you. You're down. Put it under control. Okay, we've staggered. Now we just need to kill them all. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it in the time we got left. So we're not going to get any time. Let's just go ahead and uh, win the battle. There we go. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to do some of these when we're higher leveled, but now we can fast travel to this, so that's good. Most excellent work, Cloud. Is that battle proof a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh, yes. <laughs> I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. Okay. I, I, I mean, I think that one was hard enough, as was, but uh, okay, Chadwin. And 
let's go ahead and just uh, cure Tifa again. There we go. We're in a good spot there. Pretty tried and true. We have a chocobo stop down there. Is it this way we need to go? Yeah. Can we even go this way? Though? Pretty much not. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the chocobo stop up here. That also gives us a nice little fast travel spot. Oh, hey, there's one of the uh, the markers up there. Okay, little guy. Lead us forward. Thank you. Uh, you're going to get a head pat for sure. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we are. too cute. I meant to rest, but I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. So you need a cushion to rest at the, uh, the chocobo stops. I do like how they have the icon from the original save point um, on the back of the board there. Just a very nice touch. And a cool little, you know, nod to the originals. So I'm guessing this is going to go up, probably. Yep. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman made it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Yeah, so there's been debate, um, Stardust, of whether it's... Uh... Cloud is just a, you know, germaphobe and he just doesn't want to touch the bench because of germs or if it's actual for for comfort reasons. So there's still debate out on that. And, you know, it could be a bit of both. But he does need the booty cushion for sure. <laughs> Yo, AJ. The most rewarding part of the Chocobo stations is the little pets you can give. Uh, screw the fast travel. I just want to pet the cute little Chaka baby. <laughs> oh, to hear the Morgan Freeman-like voice say Chaka baby. Uh, that is everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. AJ, thank you, dude, for, uh, for 22 months. Can we get some hearts for AJ, please? And Strufty, I think you're right. Uh, Cloud's been riding in Chocobo all day. He's got Saddle Source. Yeah. Is it back here or was it? Oh, yeah. It's back here. I appreciate that uh, very, very much, Talon. <laughs> All right, so X square, X square. X square, X square. Love the character design of Phoenix. Better be you tell me I can fight the fiery bird. Chadley. That was perfect. Thanks to your hard work, I've obtained invaluable divine intel. Wasn't the news I was looking for, Chadley. But I'm okay with it. 
I'm okay with that. All right. So where do we go from here? We need to get to there. And we also need to get to Moogle House. That's here. I think in fast travel. I, I guess I haven't checked the combat simulator yet. I'm just assuming because I haven't seen it yet. And that's what I get for assuming, too. And I love just the little different flourishes of the, like, little bit of variance in the uh, Chocobo theme in these different regions. I mean, it is very cool what they've done here. Okay, well, I've weakened him twice. We'll definitely fight him tonight, then. If that's the case. All right, so I am totally going the wrong way here. Oh, that freaks me out every time. Sliding down this sheer cliff face. Oh, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> uh, that would be a perfect time to use your cloud email up there, Talon. Is when I'm doing woolly brain stuff like this. Uh, yeah, I very much would like to meet with Moogle, please. that they're giving us two at once. Oh, nope. Okay, we've been hit once. There we go. I think it's, you can't get hit three times. disappear if okay so that's how you can capture them oh I gotta hold it Over here. hold l2 good to know for future Oh, come on now. Oh, you little mooglet. <laughs> what a pain. There we go. All right, where's our other one? Malulu? Way out here. Oh, wow. So how do I get him out there? Okay. Gotcha. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks so much, Koopa. I really can't 
can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. <laughs> Here. What can we buy now? We're coming to our Moogle Emporium. What wares do you have? Uh, precious defense focus materia earrings. Earrings which incorporate an orb of precision defense focus materia into the design, allowing the wearer to avail themselves of its magic. Okay. Ooh, against time blocks. That is nice. We're going to wait on that. And we're going to do the Telluric Scriptures Volume 2 and the Tale of the Red Warrior Volume 1. A chronology detailing the exploits of a former Watcher of the Veil increases Red 13 skill points. A collection of writings that discuss the mysteries of the planet. Cool. Come again soon! Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take this path here that branches south, get this tower, and then I I want this uh I want this relic, this proto relic. Um so let's do that. And you know what we could do? Oh, we can't fast travel to this fight because we're down from the cliff, so we have to go this way. Bella, where are you at? Where are you at? There we are. Oh, absolutely, Stardust. Um, Charlie, though, he... We've gotten used to soaking Roxy's food because she has kind of bad teeth as well. And so we just have been soaking her food anyway because we have dry dog food. And then we just soak it and they just uh they don't mind it so we just soak it and then when my parents were visiting one time the, the woolly mammoth uh accidentally soaked lucy's food and after that lucy's like no nah, i'm not eating that hard stuff so now we have to soak lucy's food too because she's picky <laughs> on this little there we go yep she was converted man. and that's the thing you know once you find out food can be prepared another way and you like it better you know it makes sense i don't blame her how dare you make me chew my food Say, Barrett. Here he comes. Have a girl now. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Stop it. Oh wow. Get ready. That was a big hit. Um, let's throw Arcane Ward on Tifa. Need more magic. I got you. In Cloud, we need an assessment, unless we've already assessed these. Oh, they're weak to wind, so we need to give uh, Arathon the task here. Oh, she... what's going on here? She doesn't have the ATB. Cloud does have uh, wind current. Tifa, we need you to get a potion on Hera. Stay strong. Together. And Aerith is a very squishy mage, that is for sure. Feeling 
did Cloud not get the heal off? That is not good. That is not good at all. Let's draw the aggro away from uh, Aerith. There we go. Uh, that was painful. Okay, let's get the boxes. Nope, cloud. Boxes. Thank you. The, the, usually Moogle medals on these ones, so those will come in handy. Alright. Let Chadley know we've been here. There we go. Since you've got some MP to spare. There we go. Now we're not so bad off. Fleet wings are uh I gotta go for it now. Damn. Aerith is staggering the heck out of those things. And I think the other ones are weak against uh ice as well. Why don't you lead the way? Well, that was a little smartly played compared to the last one. Were there boxes here? No. Not the smashable kind, anyway. Piece of cake. These ones... I forget what... Oh, they're also weak to us. You'll see. Go on. Here we go. path here. We're finding some cool stuff. Ooh, I do like that bridge. And what is that? That looks like a lot of fun. Oh, we're right by the ship, though. We can't really fast travel. Oh, there's no way we're getting to the ship. See what's over here first. Ruined treasury. Okay. Well, let's just uh, grab a few of these gold bars to take with us. Got to be worth a few gil each, I would think.
Well, that's fun. I'm sure just a lot of this stuff just washed up on shore. I'm a big fan of this Junin area music too. And that's a new track for this game that is, uh, you know, they keep adding new music that just feels like it fits in uh, with everything else. So good. What do you smell, girl? Is it here? Nice. Emerald out of that. I like how the chocobos can climb, too. Just the traversal in this game is... Awesome, awesome. Come on now. That's not with this battle. Let's see if we did, because we already did it. What I would like really like is maybe a chocobo stop around here somewhere. I think that would be super cool. Something I would really appreciate. And something here. Path forward isn't so straightforward. <coughs> Nothing over here to climb up? to branch this way. I see. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. You're actually going to get some sleep, Katie? <laughs> All right. Chocobird. Chocobo. There you are. up here. Right behind the tree. Next to these rabbits. Next to the wabbits. up here real quick. See a windmill. And what looks like some fun decorations. Very colorful. I'm liking this a lot. This here's the crow's nest. Base of operations for our anti-Shinra activities. Sorry, but we're keeping things locked down after the trouble in under Juno. Okay. I don't know what happened, but if you say no entry, then no entry. Wait. 
I'm back the way I came. Oh, I need to go through the crow's nest to get over here. Okay, that's fine. But we can probably get that one. So let's go back to this chocobo stop here. Oh man, when they go full sprint, they are fast. Music on these, if anyone's familiar with the like the simulation that you experience in the Shinra building in, in Remake, the music when these activate feel like the music during the scene with the ancients in that simulation. I think it's like a, a twist off of that theme. I could be wrong, but it, it feels like that to me. <laughs> a good drop. Wow. We've unlocked quite a bit of this area. What I want to do is go back down to at least this excavation site. Uh, and then we'll see if we can battle uh, Phoenix. stop. Where are you going, girl? Where are you going, girl? Show us the way. Aw, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's every time. It's so adorable. <laughs> oh, 
true. <laughs> Is this our excavation site, I wonder? I'd be getting pretty close. There we are. Nice. Got some transmuter items here. So transmuting. Was it Planet's Favor that we just got? An unspoiled embodiment of the planet's grace. Okay. Oh, Psychic Charm is what we got, I think. Charm once carried by an enigmatic figure said to have been hailed as a great sage before their fall from grace. Okay. Oh, we need the Quetzalcoatl Talon for that. Interesting. Back into our excavation. Let me jump up there. three okay and this song is a total bop So transmuter, what can we do here? Enhanced Sailor's Bracer. Enhanced uh, Alpha Dunk. Enhanced Wise Fox, okay. And we don't know the materials we need for those. And enhanced Gold Coral Armor. Look at the materia slots there. One linked and two unlinked. That's probably the most materia slots of any armor I've seen so far. us up on our crafting here. Talisman, the golden amulet engraved with the ancient script, increases one's powers of concentration. Okay. Increases magic power by 5%, increases spirit by 5%. Oh, now we can make uh, high potions. Very nice. First of all, I want this enhanced uh, Wise Fox for uh, Cloud. Sailor, what do we got for that? Three unlinked. I think I want the Coral. Oh, and that's good for Cloud too. So let's do that one, and then let's do the enhanced. We'll throw that one on cloud. I realized I never equipped him with the uh, enhanced wise fox. Ooh, the wise fox is better with magic defense. But I wonder if the wise fox would go better on someone else. Um, oh, I didn't realize uh, Aerith had an upgraded weapon ability here. Um, 
wind damage up. That's both of those are 10%. Quick enhanced Tempest. So she's got a pretty good bangle. So what about uh, Tifa's bangle here? Uh, let's see here. The Owl Bracer is nice, but that's on red 13. Oh, enhanced uh, Wise Fox. Might be the way to go for Tifa. Yeah, let's go that route. Okay, so Cloud, what did I put on you for angle? Okay, okay, perfect. We can set some more materia here then. And we still get our linked materia um, bonuses. Do we do lightning? Or HP up? Or both? 4K no los dos. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, we've kind of done this area. Kind of want to save this combat trial for later. So let's go talk to Chadley back at the ranch. Oh, and we might be able to throw on some more. Uh, How can I help you? Some gear here. Oh yeah, we got enough. Let's get the full scorpion get up for our chocobo. For Bella. Thank quite kindly. And uh, let's equip it in the Choka Boutique. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool looking. And then we're going to edit the color for sure. Um, what I want to do... We're going to... My other one's kind of like a brighter green. I wonder if we can kind of go for like a muted. Just maybe a bit darker. That's too dark. I want like a matte kind of green to it. Oh, that's cool. Our second color there. I'm gonna do a gray, but maybe a dark. Not quite black. Just a dark gray. Let's see what that looks like uh, on the helm too. Color two is gonna be. I wonder what happens if we go the other way. Yeah, not enough definition there. Oh wait, I didn't select it. Oh, it's kind of that under piece. Yeah, let's go back to the gray for the under piece. I do like this muted green with that red really pops. Let's do the same down here. Oh yeah, I like that. We got our full battle bird get up. Now we need to talk to Chadley. We'll rest here first. Let's check out the folios before we do that. And who's got, do we have Shiva equipped as well? It's gonna be the other question. We do, okay, we're good, we're good. You know when they say fight fire with fire, don't. Just fight it with ice. 
could be much more effective. Oh yeah, we got some polio to spend. So what do we got? We got wildfire. Melee blade. Hold the button to gather strength and then team up with your partner to unleash a charged attack. Okay. Formidable counter increases Punisher mode counter damage by 10%. Enhanced guard, 5% uh, damage reduction. What do we have here? You know what? I kind of want just this basic damage increase. The other stuff sounded cool, but that's going to be kind of a good all around. Aerith, what do we got here? Ooh, combat Savior, I like that. Good synergy skill. And what do we got here? Not so fleeting, familiar. Oh, duration by 25%. That's pretty significant. Tempest by 5%. Let's go uh, with the not so fleeting, familiar stat boost. That gets us some good node uh, branching here. Tifa, we're gonna go ATB charge rate up. Okay. Red. Increases HP recovery by 10% when you receive healing. That's cool. Like the oh, this is Barrett. Never mind, this isn't red. So we'll do the Gale impulse for uh, Barrett. And red, what are we looking at here? Oh, yes. Let's do that. Enhanced Vengeance. Or Siphon Fang. Yeah, let's boost the Siphon Fang. Anything... I don't think we have anything that's... Uh... And the cool thing they do with this, too, is you can respec at almost any point. Which is really neat. I love that they've included that. All right, Chattelsworth. I have recreated Phoenix, the firebird of reincarnation from June on Legend within the simulator. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. All right, if you say so. Let's give it a go. We'll throw out a channel point prediction. If you think I'll get in on first try, yes. If uh, you have faith, no. If you're a realist, you've been here before, you know what to expect. Uh, but we're also going to power it down twice. So just keep that in mind as well if you're throwing channel points in on the prediction. We're just going to go with the uh, party we got Cloud and the best girls of Final Fantasy VII. That's cool. Uh, the flans are weak to fire. It's interesting because they were summoned from fire. Oh wow, that was a big burst. Let's get Aerith to do some Arcane Ward before we uh, get casting anything. This one's for you! Pass that on Tifa. Let's get serious. Let's do Blizzara on Phoenix. Okay, so the toughest part of this is going to be battling what it summons, which is neat. 
some healing, please. Wow. This is a tough battle. Very tough battle. You need to cure uh, yourself. Oh, not Aerith. Oh, no. Yep, and we didn't get the heal off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is a rough battle now. Not good. <laughs> we are in a very bad way. This one's for you. We need to heal. And in a hurry. Just a little. Tifa's got a limit. Oh, she's dead. Okay. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. No way. We didn't get it. That's cool. That's cool. But kind of am starting to understand what's going on here. The resolve, uh, we did not get it in the first try. Let's try it again. We might have to wait to get this thing down. Uh, three steps. Firebolt on the plan. Keep it together. I got this. 
do Blizzard on the bomb. Save your uh, your limit until it's staggered. We're gonna cure Cloud. Alright, we need to assess this thing. Allow me. It is weak to fire. Do you have fire? You do. Okay, so defeating those is what pressures the Phoenix. We need Tifa to summon Cloud. I think we use our limit. You're out of fire. Rush. Let's try that. On it. Oh, that's fun. So on the breath of creation, we gotta defeat its creations and then we get a better one. I didn't see that guy. Uh, Phoenix. The other thing, Arch Dragon, we have to win. Aerith has that spell. Stop it! Good job, Shiva. Thank you. We've got it. Here it comes. This one's for you. You'll see. Hey, Aerith, you're going to cure yourself. Cloud. Uh, similar fashion, except for Tifa. One more shot. I think that thing is weak to fire. The ogre? Yeah. Hang back. Let's get this over. All right. There we go. Blizzard on Phoenix. Tifa. Zara. There we go. Oh, synergy. Divine Punishment. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Let's go, okay. 
Uh, planet's protection. Yes, please. Hope we survive this. Amazing. Um, poor Aerith did not survive. Okay, and hit it with Cloud's Cross Slash, please. Yes. <laughs> you got it, but poor Aerith didn't make it. And now we have unlocked Phoenix for summoning. That was a masterful victory over Phoenix. The flames it conjured were so captivating, I could hardly look away. With an immortal ally like that at your side, you've nothing to fear, not even death. <laughs> By the way, Cloud. By the way, what? Have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto relic I mentioned before? If yeah. Not, don't worry. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend. Yeah, we can't get there, Chadley. Um, thank you for the GGs, Stardust. I like on the end of the battles in the simulator that they kind of do their their victory celebrations that are reminiscent of the original Final Fantasy VII. Like Tifa does her stretch, Cloud does the sword twirl, uh, Aerith kind of brushes off her skirt. It's just so fun. I love just the tiny details are so good. Titan, Shiva, yeah, let's swap out Chocobo and Moogle uh, for Phoenix. Increase the level of the summoning material to a maximum of four, so we need to do that. Heals a maximum amount of fire magic and heals the party. Definitely want that. Definitely want that. Oh, yeah. Cloud always has anyway, to be extra. Just checking in. I think we've kind of explored what we can for the moment. So let's go over to the Junin checkpoint and see what we have there. No civilians allowed. I can't let you through. Okay, so this is like what you see in the original game, where you can't go up through the main checkpoint of Junin. And you have to kind of go through the the bottom side of it so let's check out uh, this little area here so hard to believe this exists. Um, I'm just over the moon with this game. This whole like remake trilogy they're making is just uh, a love letter to uh, one of my favorite games. So <laughs> naturally, I'm just uh, these little details are so so very cool. Oh, no. OK. I'm excited for what comes next. I'm just so excited. Okay. Just have to look and see what's back here. Unless it was just where I was at. Yeah, sort of. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. What? 
avalanche, huh? Yep. That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. <gasps> half a million? <laughs> Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Ah, the Turks. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Yeah, Rhonda's a new character uh, for this game. And a uh, really cool entrance, too. You'll be safe here. Relax. Hey, you can trust me. Cross my heart. Behave yourselves now. Yeah, very well voice acted. I mean, I didn't expect any different from this game, but uh, very well voice acted. Uh, character design is really cool. I like her little arm tattoo as well. Oh, I'm so excited for this bit. Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I need to work on Barrett's relationship. Oh, and we can play some Queen's Blood. Definitely need to play a round of Queen's Blood before uh, we end stream tonight. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you for posterity? <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me. But maybe not for you? If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Get first. Yeah, I like how he's called Snaps. <laughs> okay, so we can't quite get there yet. Um, well, we don't have it, so. I'm always looking for new spots, so if you happen to know any. Shinra's rigs are... Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a... Let's chat with Red 13. This stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Now, that once proud metropolis is mere flotsam, courtesy of Shinra. In its place, the company built a new, unsinkable city of steel. 
to stand as a warning to any who might dare to oppose them. Or so I was taught. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built no atop a fleet of interconnected no. ships. Now, at once proud okay. its place to stand as a war. I don't know if I'm familiar with the term flotsam. People never or so I was taught. To survive. So I'm just going to look that up. We forgot how. Wreckage of a ship or its cargo uh, found floating on or washed up by the sea. People or things that have been rejected and are regarded as worthless. Uh, the room was cleared of boxes and other plots. Okay. So my lexicon has been upgraded tonight. Shinra, though, they couldn't live without it. And they made sure hey, you see that Gabe's Chocobo Express! Oh, hey. Gabe made it over here. And a sweet ink, man. The dude has awesome tats. Good line work. Definitely need to get the uh, contact info for that artist for my next one. Remember, we're not just looking for rookies, we're looking for rich rookies. Uh huh. Oh. Then we can make them pay up when we win. Okay, well, we're definitely going to play some Queen's Blood here. I'm going to save before I uh, get too deep into this. I'm going to go over number nine. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. <laughs> and together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal. Oh, right? so I have to beat both of them. If you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Oh, three gil, that's fine. This is a card game they've introduced uh, in this game, and it's a lot of fun. But I've only played a couple matches back at the beginning of the game, so this could be pretty interesting. Uh, what cards do I want to mulligan? That's actually a pretty good start, actually. here. And we can throw Titan here and take over that spot, which is perfect. And then do we have a one that can go up here? We do. Yes. Oh, we do have a three. And do a sweeper. Oh, this guy's a four. Let's do that. And then we'll just throw our cactar up here for the win. We beat brother one. Now we need to uh, beat brother two. Nice. Not really interested in the game, and even if I was, I'd probably forget. Uh, the music 
uh, in the entire game. It's fantastic so far, but uh, especially this card game. Uh, really, really good music. But next, you gotta beat me. Okay. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. All right, Darren. Calm down now. Oh, cool. We get Ogre if we win. Uh, I kind of want to mulligan this one. And actually starting with the Chocobo here was a pretty good start last time. Cactar here. And then do we have another one? We can throw it down here. Perfect. That a plus three and threw the four down there. That is. Okay. So we need to reclaim this spot up there. Do we have a two that can do that? I don't know if we do. We have a one. Let's use that. So now they're locked out. Now we just have to outpoint them. This is what we need to do. Titan needs to be a two. Can we get that one up to a two? That's gonna be the question. Yep, let's do that. And then we can up, uh, we can place Titan here for the plus three. There we are. And then we're just really going to drive the point home. Oh, we can't move it at all anyway. We're going to win regardless, so. <laughs> Perfect. Get wrecked, boys. <laughs> Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three kill? No, oh, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if yeah, you're in doubtful. the mood, come back and play. It's fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Thank you for the GGs. Okay. Let's go find Barrett. I want to increase my uh, relation with that big guy. There you go. There he is. Only so many ways you can prepare. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene. Both us and our black robe friends are SOL. 
waters here used to be teeming with fish. Practically jump into your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters. And I ain't talking tuna. Shimmer <laughs> just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea, too. Some fishing village this is. And it's Shinra saying it's a short of stealing the boat and causing the scene. Both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Well, let's still gather some intel here. Right. I'm a fisherman, not a businessman. Shinra ain't no concern. Okay, kids, what do you, uh. Oh, the dolphin. Oh. Good job out there. Oh, that is cute. Oh, can we get a picture of the dolphin? Cloud, can you turn around? And, uh,. I love this. I love the, uh, you know, Cloud looks all serious and pensive with his back to it. And then there's the dolphin. <laughs> Just happy as can be. <laughs> oh, goodness. And we got a new frame as well. We got a Junin frame. All right. Let's do one with the frame. Maybe kind of pull this down a bit. Or I guess we can't. So let's get one with the frame. And then this one without. <laughs> but it's so fun because the dolphin just looks so happy and Cloud is just... Uh... <laughs> is Mr. Pensive. It's showtime, yep, people. busy being cloud. You know it, Stardust. Oh, wow. This area is so big. What are these kids doing over here? Is there another dolphin? <laughs> Oh, that's fun. I got to jump too. Oh, that is fun. Oh, little details in this game make me smile. <laughs> um, come on now, Cloud. You know, one jump in is fine. Two jumps, all right, I get it. Number three, that's a bit excessive. We should have never let them build a reactor. Nothing here. Nothing there. Well, I agree. We should not have let them build the reactor, but. Uh, in the old days, you... believe it or not, there's a reaction. Another day in a life without sunshine. Thanks to the city above. Just one little nibble, and I hook them quicker than a minnow can swim or dip. Oh, hey. Well, what's More Queen's blood. I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. <laughs> Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. <laughs> you young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. Uh, well, let's test that out. So let's edit. Can we add in this ogre? It's a two. And that's actually a really good starting one or a really good like second row in. So what can I... You know what? Let's get rid of the magic pot. And let's throw the ogre in. Oh, wait. 
that didn't save, did it? No, it did. Okay, we're good. Let's mulligan this one. Oh, and I got the ogre as well. So can I do something that's gonna... I need to find a way to add two to that one. I think I know what we're gonna do. Yep. I'm gonna add him there. We're gonna do the squirrel on this one. That gets us two. We're gonna go ogre on that two. Oh, the spacing is weird. Oh, that was bad. I should not have done that. That's okay. We'll make up for it. Throw the sweeper here. And then we can throw the ogre on the top row. There we go. No, that's where I needed to throw Titan. That's okay. We can still throw Titan here and repick that. Yeah, that's actually a good call. Okay, unless he pulls something crazy, we might win this. Nope, we lost that bottom row. Yeah, we've lost. Oh, that was a good round, though. Now that I know how that ogre, ogre card works, I can build out better. Yeah, let's rematch. This is fun. I like this card game a lot. Okay, let's mulligan... Actually, a couple of these. You know, the ogre is actually not bad to throw in that top left corner. getting on my nerves, buddy. Throw fat chocobo down here. Unless there's something I can place that fits the top, but it doesn't. Ugh. Leads gets us one one more out in front. 
We're probably going to play on top of it, though. Yep, what a jerk. And that only gives us this. We're going to lose again. Oh, and even more handily defeated. He deleted our card that was on the board. I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, that was even worse. Somehow we did even worse. That's kind of tempting. Grasslands Wolf. If you try to head him off there it would be really nice. Okay, do we have anything that points down that's a one? That gets us at least a three and a boost. And then we can throw Fat Chocobo here. Okay, now to clean up. That gives us a two plus three. So what's going to give us the most points? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. For Titan. I don't have a one to place. Oh, I do. Let's completely wipe the floor with him. <laughs> there we go. That was a good uh, a good comeback victory there. A full a full sweep on all three rows. That's nice. And we got the uh, Zemzalet. So raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three. And that only is a, a two play or two pin requirement. That's nice. Goodness me, this makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Yeah. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then bail them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Uh, yeah. And, you know, stop being ageist. 
believe it or not. In the old days, you could make ends meet and fish in on the Oh, uh, let's go check back there. I'm a fisher, but not a businessman. Yeah, it's a very fun card game in this. Ooh, new material. HP up, very nice. See if we can find Tifa. There's Tifa. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us. We are recruiting for closing. There was a tavern. Awesome, good music. And some more Queen's Blood. Stuck in a rut, tired old ranch owner. Been making deliveries since way back when, but now that one of my carriage's wheels broke, I've had to suspend service. If I could get my hands on a replacement, I suppose I could uh, fix the thing, but honestly, maybe this is all for the best. Stardust, have a wonderful night. It has been amazing to see. Uh, past time I said, huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Oh, Isabel. I was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One yeah. round of QB before I set sail? Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Let's add in the one we just got. And what can we get rid of that's a two? Let's get rid of one of those and throw in one of these. Let's see how that works. This isn't too bad, but I kind of feel like I should, uh... You know what? No, no. Let's go with what we got. So I kind of want to go here. And then let's go with the sweeper here. Ooh, that's a tough call. Yeah, let's go sweeper. And then alpha dunk in front of the chocobo. And then we'll go cactar up top. What we need to change is that red one down at the bottom. Oh, what a jerk. What a jerk. Can we fix this? Is this salvageable? It is. Yes. Yes. And then let's see what the fat chocobo does. Gives us a plus three there. What can we do that's two here? Ooh, that is tempting. Okay, and what does this do for two? And can we do a one up here? Let's do that to cut him off up there. And that way he can only play one card. Or she can, Isabel. And then let's do 
That chocobo here. And up top we can do the wolf. And then we can do our plus three on the ogre. Didn't quite give us the second row, but it gave us the win. Excellent. Excellent. That bottom row was uh, very tasty. Oh, we got a Shiva card. When played, spawn Diamond Dust of power two, four, or six in empty positions. Yo. Damn. That is sick. You took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. <laughs> Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With Me too, is dumb. Frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing <laughs> my head. I'm going to stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a fun battle. Looks like Chadley's hanging out here. Hey, Mr. Chattlesworth. I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got enough to make one of each of these. wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Special delivery! Coming in! Okay. Back in the day, have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's such a speck. So they don't have comics? Is this an interior shop? Oh, it's a folio. Uh, can't do much here. I don't think there's anything with red. That's five. Come back soon. Where do they keep the smutty stuff? Oh. Lady, you need one of these. Seriously. Can't believe she said that. So they don't have comics. Have you met Priscilla yet? Shinra's rigs are sturdy as all hell. She's all right, spoiled. So talk to Red. You see that trio? There's Eric. Don't drop it now! Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? The people here? They hate the lack of sunlight, but not me. I like it this way. Though I'd never tell them that, of course. <laughs> Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Yeah. She mentioned uh, that she liked the steel sky. Uh, in Midgar. It stands to reason that uh, she likes it here. Okay, I think I've probably gathered all the intel I can. Just go rest at the end. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! Anybody, please! sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs yes. a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Well, let's do that. Let's go we help Priscilla go. out. Now. There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Can I save? Yeah. I definitely want to drop a save here. Um, let's just go over eight. Here! Quickly! Okay? Please! Uh, uh, help! You 
Snoopy. <laughs> I was wondering how they were going to pull her character in. Lightning? Yeah, weak to lightning. Monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junin. It possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both the water and the air. It ingests seawater and then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. Had something to steal. Nope. That was pointless. Go on. A fireball blade, I think, is a good call here. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn. One more shot! It's your turn! I got this! You Take it over. Oh, the music is very nice. <laughs> Not good. I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, Cloud, you need to use Firebolt again. <laughs> this one's for you! <laughs> You've got this. All set. Hey, shit. 
Okay, firebolt, and we're gonna get the uh, stagger. Let me teach him a lesson. One more shot. Do you have any synergy? Tifa. Summon. Let's uh. Oh yeah, United Focus. Let's go on that. Gotta step it up. Healing is just what I needed. I'll get you out. Shit! Let me go! Big whiff. Oh, 
Get out of there. <laughs> Tifa got hit by it again. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn? Let's see if we can get close enough to use a chrono. Yeah. All right. has got a limit break. Yes, the synergy and now for the limit because we can get uh, Dolphin Flurry. Cap it off with the dolphin move. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that was beautiful. I didn't get a screenshot in time, but my goodness. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. And you know what? There's urgency, but there's also cloud swimming with dolphin. Oh, I didn't take that away. No time. We need to get a breathing again. Somebody help! Yeah, I'm hurrying. God, she's Red, so cold. Do you know CPR? Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. <sighs> Don't just stand there. Help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Oh, I remember this mini game from the uh, the original. It was a tough one. Now, start. there are from the splinter cell splinter cell they used to be with avalanche but left after a policy dispute <sighs> easy they're guests of mine and this one was trying to save her life oh he was Ugh, nice going yuffie call the guy a creep why don't you you big moron <laughs> <laughs> This mix of Descendant of Shinobi is amazing. Uh, there's a piano um, version of this that used to be my morning alarm for a good while um, that I'm going to have to see if I can throw a link in chat of this one. It uh, is one of uh, Kara Comparetto. Kara does stream on Twitch and does a lot of Final Fantasy covers on piano. And uh, she's got a very, very wonderfully uh, well done cover of Descendant of Shinobi. 
and it helps if I can spell. Here we go. Yeah, she's got a video of it. Uh, and I used to use this version in a morning alarm. Uh, so definitely go check that one out. It's a really, really well done cover. But I like this mix they have here. It's just got a lot of whimsy to it. Okay, Yuffie, let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Oh, wonderful transition there. Well done. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Thanks again. She would have been in deep shit without you. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Oh, that's cool. Ocean's real. This game is a treat. Too quiet. Something brewing. <laughs> hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <laughs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later. <laughs> um. I'm I love how she's still got. Yeah, she's still got her Naruto run uh, that she has in Crisis Core. I love this. Pretty thick, but hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Good call, Barry. Let's see, can we zoom a little bit? Nice. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Isn't the heroes of the hour? I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <laughs> Red. Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. That's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? <laughs> but man, if anybody should be angry, it would have been Barrett, because he had to sleep on the couch last night. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Mm. I didn't know if uh, she had any dialogue there. I could feel them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. Uh, excuse me? And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but... I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. 
Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. No, hmm. I'll clear your officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. <laughs> That's peculiar. Yeah. It didn't sound like his voice. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Okay. Uh, we'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. <laughs> my poor nose. Oh no. Okay, let's go to the other rooms here first. Come in. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No okay. time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Um. Oh, the flower. Yeah. You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. <laughs> I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Right on here. <laughs> never re-gift a present from a girl. Ooh. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. No, dude. Water under the bridge. But next time. <laughs> Yikes. Thin ice cloud. Thin ice. Oh, Empress's uh, scepter. Sweet. Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. Gotta wonder what Shinra's planning up there. Where do you think those guys in black went? Uh, can we chat to Red again? I think I didn't ex exhaust his dialogue here. <laughs> my poor nose. Oh, my poor nose. These rooms are really nice, man. Did that have something in there, or was that just the, uh, oh, that was just the thing for red. It's open. Oh, we get some dialogue with Baird here. Nice. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Join Avalanche? To join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. <laughs> Shouldn't okay, be waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Rest up while you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did okay, they? Nothing else here. All right, let's go upstairs. Talk to Tifa. Oh, hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you yeah i you regret what i said in calm oh come in man the story is just uh got some depth to it that they just couldn't get into in the original game with what they were limited with with technology and storage space and everything and i'm just so excited to see where this goes
I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Um. Um. Sorry. Oh. Well, his family ran the general store. Was about our age. Right. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Mm. Like, she could have been a model, and... You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Wow, is this another test? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? <laughs> I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. I mean, it seems like you got all the time. Your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Hey, this was worth uh, checking out here. All right, so let's uh, let's go in and rest, and then we'll drop a save after we rest here. that's hardly resting. The gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. <sighs> I love how every time you see the Materia disappear, it's a different color next time you see it. I, I love that little touch and they had it in intermission and it's still very present here and it, I adore it. Wu-Tai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. Don't ninjas creep around in the dark, slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> mm. 
Although, that is something we do. <laughs> Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new yep. president, Rufus freaking <laughs> That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his That was gonna be my guess. <laughs> These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us more. <laughs> okay. You wanna know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Oh, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it. Who's that? Well, we know who that is. In the ass. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, cool. This is a cool take. This is a really cool take on this sequence. Okay, I need to save for sure. Because I need to go to bed. But that's where we're going to pick it up right away. Right away on Friday morning. Oh, how cool. How cool is that? This one, I think that this game can't uh, throw me any more curveballs. It does in such a cool way. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal work, Square. I, I like how the pieces are falling together here. And Yuffie still has that double crossing thing where she feels like she wants to help them out, but then she sells them out. It's so cool. I love this.